Hi there, here's a scrotal sonogram of a patient presenting to the emergency room with significant scrotal swelling and pain. And as we pan through the images, we can see that there's uh, a tremendous amount of scrotal wall edema, which is represented here by these hypoechoic areas or pockets of fluid within the scrotal wall. Uh, normally, the scrotal wall is fairly perceptible between the the testicle and the skin, but here we can see that it's markedly thickened and edematous. But the reason I'm showing this case is because of the additional finding that uh, is seen over and above the scrotal wall edema, which is in the form of these extremely bright echogenic foci, some of which are casting dispersed shadows. And we can see that they are uh, present throughout the scrotal wall, but they are clustered in some regions more than in others, and we can see this ring down artifact that emanates from some of them. And this is a characteristic finding in the setting of air in the scrotal wall. Uh, we can see multiple such tiny epidemic foci with ring down artifact. And now, what would be the reason for air in the scrotal wall? Um, in a patient with an inflamed scrotum that's edematous, that's uh, red, that's warm to touch, and uh, a patient who is sick with an elevated white count, the obvious concern would be for Fournier's gangrene, which is an anaerobic infection or cellulitis of the scrotum. And this is a condition with extremely high morbidity, which it is important for us as radiologists to recognize and uh, communicate to the treating physician. So uh, when one sees these kind of echogenic foci in the scrotal wall, particularly when there is ring down artifact as we see in this case, that is something that needs to be thought of and immediately communicated to the treating physician so that an urgent, urgent surgical consult may be obtained. The corresponding CT of the same patient that shows a significant scrotal wall edema and we can see the characteristic appearance of air within the scrotum in the form of extremely low attenuation foci in the scrotum, which correspond with the echogenic dots that we saw on the prior ultrasound. Uh, so the concern here is for Cunier's gangrene in the scrotum, and this is a an extreme surgical emergency which needs to be immediately communicated by our radiologist to the treating physicians and surgeons. Thank you.